Listen, it's no secret that the U.S. has reached an all-time high in credit card debt. Now, I'm a big fan of credit. I believe it's a great way for a new LLC to start, grow, or scale their business. You also get perks and benefits when you're using your credit card, such as reward points and cash back when you buy groceries for your home or when you put gas in your vehicle. You also get airline miles when you take family vacations or business trips. And this is all great as long as you pay the credit card statement balance off in full every single month so you won't fall into credit card debt. So if you want to learn how to increase your FICO score by keeping your credit card utilization low, watch this video here where I teach you how to master your credit cards. There are multiple ways to get out of credit card debt. One way you can call a creditor and ask them to lower your interest rates. On average, interest rates right now is about 22%. Another way is to ask the creditor for a credit limit increase. Now, this can be very challenging. Only if your credit usage is high on that particular credit card and you ask for a credit limit increase, most likely they will deny you. So you may have to pay down that credit card first, right? Your other credit cards may be a little high, but if you pay down that particular credit card down first, you may have to wait a month, you may have to wait three months to ask for a credit limit increase. It's just all about your prior relationship with that financial institution. But once you pay down our credit uses to about 10% or lower, remember not 30%, but you pay it down to about 10% or lower, then ask for a credit limit increase and go from there. And the third way is to get a debt consolidation loan. But let me be clear, I don't mean go to a debt relief company and have them negotiate a lower debt on your behalf. That's a no-no. I'm referring to going to a company and getting a debt consolidation loan with a lower interest rate than your credit card to pay off your credit card balance. You tracking me? But the number one method I want to teach you today is how to use business balance transfer credit cards with 0% interest to wipe away your debt fast. Now, you want to stay tuned as I reveal my top five unsecure business balance transfer credit card with 0% interest that you want to use. But before we get into that, I want to say this video is sponsored by ADP. Whenever I'm trying to get financial products for myself, such as a car loan or applying for an apartment, I always say that I am a manager of my company and I always show pay stubs. Although you are the founder and the CEO of your company, you want to set yourself up properly as a W-2 employee so it can be easier for you to get approved for financial products. One of the biggest mistakes I see small business owners make is co-mingling their personal and their business finances and not paying themselves a fixed salary from their business. In order to pay yourself from your company, you have to have a payroll processing company set up. I use ADP. ADP is the largest payroll provider in the country. It's a one-stop shop. ADP can help you with income verification by creating your own pay stubs, health insurance, retirement plans. They offer workers comp, HR services, 401k plans. ADP also files your payroll taxes on a quarterly and annual basis. And another benefit of using ADP is they report your payments to the SBFE, which helps you build business credit. Look, click the link in the description to receive 15% off and up to three months free of service. And when you sign up with ADP by using the link in the description, also know that you are supporting this channel. Thank you. Let's start by breaking down the concept of a balance transfer. A balance transfer credit card is a credit card that allows you to move the outstanding balance of one credit card to another. Now, we all know how vicious credit card interest can be, especially when you start carrying a balance over. It's going to be extremely difficult for you to pay off that credit card. Well, it can be in most cases, right? Now, it's four main elements when it comes to balance transfer credit cards. Number one, introductory APR period. Number two, outgoing APR. Number three, balance transfer fee. And number four, the annual fee. Typically, with a balance transfer credit card, the main reason why you end up getting this card is for the introductory period of 0% interest for a limited time. This means you pay zero interest for a limited time, such as six months, 12 months, 18 months, or even 21 months, zero interest. Essentially, that's like free money. During that time, that introductory period where you have 0% interest, you want to pay that credit card down as fast as possible. Because when that introductory period is over with, six months, 12 months, 18 months, 21 months, you now have the ongoing APR, 
which on average right now is about 22%. But here's the great thing about a business balance transfer credit card with 0% interest. The balance that you transfer over from your personal credit card to your business credit card does not report on your personal credit profile. It only reports on your business credit profile because it's a business account and business accounts only reports on your business credit profile. This means you're protecting your debt to income ratio, AKA your credit card utilization. So if you ever heard people say, here's how you have your credit card utilization, that's how you do it. Now, typically you have to remember when you transfer over a balance, the creditor will charge you a balance transfer fee. Most credit cards do. The fee can range anywhere between 3% to 5%. So here's a quick example. Let's say you have a total of $8,000 in a credit card debt. You take that debt and transfer it to your business credit card with 0% interest. Generally, there's a fee of 3% or 5%, or it could be zero depending on the credit card you go with. Now, if you have $8,000 and the fee is 3%, that means your balance is not $8,000. It's $8,240. And when it comes to your annual fee, typically credit card companies are charge you $95 or zero dollars just depend on that particular credit card company so that's just something to look out for you might have to pay 95 dollars or zero dollars just depend on that creditor but before i give you my top five business balance transfer credit card with zero percent interest make sure you smash that like button make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed it really helped the channel out and i appreciate you and i will try to answer all you guys comments if you leave a comment below on this particular topic so without further ado, here are my top five business balance transfer credit cards. So let's start with U.S. Bank. They have a 0% APR for 18 months. The annual fee is zero, which is great. Balance transfer fee is 3%. Next, we have PNC Bank, which you can get a business credit card with 0% APR for 13 months. No annual fee. Balance transfer fee is 3%. The third balance business transfer credit card is BMO Harris. You can get a BMO business platinum credit card with 0% APR on balance transfers for 18 months and annual fee is zero. Fourth on the list, we have Amax Blue Business Plus. 0% APR for 12 months, balance transfer fee 3% and annual fee zero. And last on the list, we have Chase Bank. 0% APR for 12 months, balance transfer fee 5%, annual fee zero. All right, so there you have it. I gave you my top five business balance transfer credit cards that'll help you wipe away your debt fast. If you have any comments, just put them below and I will take my time and answer as much as comments as I can. So please put them below and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Peace out.